How you doing, Big John with Jay Custom Builds? So after a few hours yesterday of doing a whole lot of research and then attempting to do the fall away on my brother-in-law's 2013 Softail, I realized that I was doing something wrong because my manual doesn't tell me that I need to remove the caliper because it only has one rotor and one caliper, which is on the left side, right? Well, it didn't say remove it. I watched a couple of videos. It didn't explain any of that to me. So I just thought if you're gonna do the fall away, you might as well do it with everything that's gonna be on the bike, right? So I don't really have, you know, a, an accurate pointer. So, I mean, what I did was I just improvised, right? I just got one of the brake lines from my truck that I'm rebuilding back there. And then I uh, centered it here, right? Put it as close as I could to the bike. And when you turn it, either way, it's supposed to start falling away between one and two inches, not past. Well, you can see that it keeps going, right? And you know why? because that brake caliper is on there. Even though this cable's not doing anything, it's still putting weight on it. So a lot of people say that you can put a weight on the other side that weighs as much as the caliper. I tried that too and it didn't work. So I talked to my, my nephew, who's a master mechanic in Arizona, and he told me that I had to remove the caliper because it's just like if you're doing an alignment on your tire. Basically, you wanna have an even amount of fall away on each side of the bike and it's best if it starts, you'll notice when I go this way to the left side because of the caliper, right when it hits the one inch mark, right about there, eh, maybe not, it's a little tight. It's not falling away, it's still not falling. There it is, right? So I tightened up the stem bolt uh, yesterday. Like I said, I was doing research for a couple hours and I tried it and tried it in different ways, adding a weight to it, didn't work. So my nephew today told me to go ahead and remove the brake caliper and try it again, because that, that caliper, it's kind of hard to mimic it unless you have two rotors and two exact calipers on the same side, right? Dual disc. Well, this bike doesn't. This is my first time doing a fall away on a single disc motorcycle. So a little learning, a little education there. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the caliper and give it a try again. So stand by while I take that off. All right, guys, so I'm almost, I'm like center right there. Let me move the camera over just a tad here. All right, so it's probably a little off for you guys because the camera shifted a little bit to the side. You know what, let me put it on this side and see how that looks. Okay, it's pretty straight. So I might have to loosen up this stem bolt right here, but usually you want it to start falling away within of the center point to an inch, right? Or to be within these two inches, but you really want to start falling away, proper fall away is within, within an inch. If it falls, you want it to just be even, right? So I'm gonna push this over and it's not falling away, not even after the two inch mark. So I've already loosened up the two pinch bolts right here because you want them to be you want them to be super loose, right? So let's see this way. Nothing, nothing. So let me loosen up the stem bolt. When you loosen up the stem bolt, just do it in small increments and you don't want there to be any movement on the, on the stem, on the entire triple tree. So I'm gonna back this off just a little bit. That's much better. Whoa, you don't want that either, right? You don't want to be able to centered right there. You want to tap, 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 tap. And when it comes to that one inch mark, you want it to fall away by itself. I probably pushed it a little bit. Let's see, let's push it to that point, tap, tap. It's completely centered with that one inch mark. starting to fall away and bam that's actually not too bad it might be doesn't have any play so let's try this way now since I took the caliper off nothing again it's 
starting to fall away, like right after the two inch mark. Look, it's still not falling away. So I'm going to loosen it up just another little bit. All right. That was probably, that was probably like a 16th or an eighth of an inch. And that's kind of what you want. So hold on. Let me, let me just swing this back and forth a little. You want to get that moving freely. All right. That's still, that's still centered right there. So I'm looking at this right here and I have this completely centered in the middle. So I'm going to try again to the left. Keep tapping. It's at the one inch mark. There it is starting to fall away. See it? Bam. All right. Let's bring it back. And I don't know why it's struggling to go a little bit tighter to the right. Is that the one inch mark? Not even at the two inch mark is it wanting to fall away. So I'm gonna loosen it up just a little bit more. But again, after you loosen it up, you don't want there to be play. You don't want there to be any play. Right, centered. Let me make sure it's centered again. Okay, it's right on the money. So let's go to the left. And you want it to be right at that one inch mark, right? Bam, let's put it right back at the one inch mark. And there it is, it's falling away, right? Boom, 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 boom. It's at the one inch and it's already falling away. So let's check it out going this way now. Let me make sure I have it straight. Like it's straight on the money. Let me pull this back just a little bit right there. Tap, 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 tap. Now remember, I loosened it up like an eighth of an inch. Still. Still not falling away, man. Let me loosen it up a little bit more. Oh. So it looks like it's starting to try to fall away like at the two inch mark. See, there it is, two inches, it's falling away. But this side falls away at the one inch mark. And there it is, real slow. So, let's try this again. One, past the one inch, inch and a half. Coming in at two inches. And it's not doing anything. So I'm gonna open it up just a little tiny bit. Again, remember, you do not want a whole lot of play. Like another sixteenth of an inch right there. My dogs are looking at me all crazy. You wanna do like three turns in each direction just to make sure it's got movement and you don't want to fill no play and there's none. So we're right at the center again. Let me check the center. And you want to keep doing this guys until you got it perfectly lined up. All right, pointers right on the money. You can't see cause you're off to the side a little bit but it's right there. So I'm curious, instead of going to the left, let's go to the right. One inch. Coming up to two, one and a half, nothing. Let's try the other side. I can tell this one's gonna fall away even before it hits the one. There it is. That one's falling away like at three, a little over three quarters. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring it out, loosen it up, and then I'm gonna barely put tension on it and see what it does. Oh. 
See that? Right after the one and the two, right there. That's perfect. Let's see what we got on the other side. That's centered right there. All right, this does move a little bit. All right, let's see. It's already falling away and all I did was barely touch it. Yeah. So at one and a half, this one falls and before one, it falls to the left. I don't have anything on there other than the, these wires here, which aren't doing anything. There's really no weight on them. You know, I have no idea. You know, I know that the, the actual, uh, the ABS doesn't really weigh that much. And this has a real light aluminum uh, spacer on it, but it does have the nut. But over here, it just has a space, small spacer and uh, it has the, the head of the axle. So I don't know. I'm going to uh, take a small video of this and send it to my nephew. So bear with me, guys. Whoa, look at that. Fell on its own. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> I'm giving this a shot again. I read the book again. So what it's saying is it wants you to mark the minute it starts falling away to the right. And it starts falling away right there. And that's kind of far, right? And then the minute it says it wants you to mark where it starts falling away to the left, which is right here. So it's from here to there. It wants it to be less than two inches. And you could see that's three and a half. So it, this was the original, but it was too loose when it would fall away. So I like it right there because it's, it's not veering away right away. So I'm going to loosen it up just a little bit. Just a hair right there. And it says to just get it, move it around a little bit. There's the center. So it says, go to the right. So, okay, so now, not that one, it's falling away about right there. Let's double check that again. Actually, a little bit sooner. Not even there. It's falling away right about there. Center it. It's right on the pointer. Yep, it's actually not even there. It's falling away on the original one, which I'm going to void all these out starts to fall away like right after that mark. And I want it to be a little tighter. There, it's starting to fall away. So that's still, that's actually still within the two, two inch mark that it's starting to fall away right there. And you want it to be within those two inches. So, see how it fell? I'm gonna put it right on that line. And you bump. So it's a little more than two inches. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. It said if it's within two inches, it's fine. So, I'm going to put it back together like that. And then you actually want to slide that over. And you want to grab the forks on the bottom and move it around. 
Make sure you don't get any kind of a rough play when you turn to the left, to the left or to the right. You don't want to feel any, um, any dragging, any rough spots, because the bearings are new. So I'm going to leave it right where it's at. It's, it's like right at the two inch mark. It says if it's out further than two inches, bring it in to at least an inch and a half. I had it at an inch and a half here, but it was falling away right at the center. And I didn't like that. You don't want it to be falling away immediately after the center. You want it to give it at least, at least a half an inch. And that's what it is right there. Center, half inch. And as long as it's in within those specs, you're good. So it's in between these two, which is two inches. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to clean up some parts and then start putting this girl back together. So, hey, guys, I just wanted to uh, go over that with you guys as far as the fall away goes. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to do the fall away on the soft tail because from what I understood on the instructions, it was kind of similar to doing, you know, the ultra classic and the the uh, street glide and the road king. So. My advice or suggestion to you guys is if you guys are going to attempt to do the follow away on your bike, follow the manual, follow the manual to the T, read it. I have to reread stuff and reread stuff over and over again because, you know, I struggled with English when I was growing up as far as comprehension. And I just, you know, I got to make sure that I'm reading things correctly. So for me, I have to reread stuff over and over, but I just really suggest that you go by whatever your manual says. So unfortunately, when I read it before and the advice that I got from watching other videos, it's very different from model to model or from previous years to the newer years, pre-2017. So like I said, just it's better to go off of the manual and uh, go from there. So what I was trying to do before was I thought it had to be in that two inch range where I actually marked the center an inch on the outside and then another inch, which was two inches on the outside. And that's not how it was supposed to be. This one, basically, it didn't really matter if it fell a little bit faster to the left versus the right. It just had to be within that two inch mark or that two inches. So it doesn't have any play. It feels really, really good. I'm going to test ride it once I get everything on it back together again. And I also want to say, you know, I've watched a lot of videos of actual Harley mechanics and, and uh, mechanics that pretty much motorcycle mechanics or Harley mechanics. Those guys go by feel. All my life when I was a kid and I had my first cars when I was 14, 15, 16 years old, my engine had to run super smooth. It had to idle perfectly. I had a lot of Impalas when I was growing up. And if it didn't, if it had that little, where it was real smooth and it had that little shake to it, that annoyed me. So I'm, you know, real anal, real meticulous about stuff like that. So I go by feel. And so if you feel, you know, if, if you haven't checked the following on your bike and you've had it for years now, or even if you just got your bike, jack up the front tire just a little bit to where you can actually turn to the left and to the right, get in front of it and grab the bottom of your forks and see if there's any movement on that. See if there's any movement at all in the triple tree because that'll cause a wobble if it's bad. When you go to turn your wheel to the left and to the right really, really slow, if you're feeling kind of grinding or any kind of, if it's rough in either way, your bearings could be bad, starting to go bad, or they could just be uh, dry. My brother-in-law's 2013, the bike that I'm doing right now, this thing was bone dry. It it just, it had no grease in it whatsoever. The fall away was horrible on it, but it wasn't loose. He never told me about a wobble and he never complained about, you know, vibration in the front wheel or anything like that. Just, it was dry. And from being so dry, it, the fall away was just, too loose on it but it had no vibration or anything so i replaced the the stem bearings on that the racers everything and this came out really really good so if you've done this before and you know all of these techniques and stuff i still suggest that you go off of the manual whatever the manual says to get it right and you know it may take a couple of times to get it adjusted you know i i just realized now that the street glide that i built woof 
I was wondering why the front tire was grabbing and it wasn't really, it didn't really feel right. It didn't feel comfortable like all the other bikes. And I realized that the stem bolt is a little bit too tight on that bike and that will cause your front wheel to kind of grab and, and uh, make you feel super uncomfortable. So if it's too tight, it's not good. If it's too loose, it's not good. Those bearings need to be able to move freely, not have any play and not be too tight. Just kind of like a wheel bearing on your front wheel of your car or your truck. I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but they request that you spin the wheel and you spin the wheel really good and you shake the top, you shake the sides and see if there's any play. And then they once they want you to tighten it, then they want you to back off a little bit before you put the washer and the cotter pin in there. And that's, that's the right amount. And then you spin it and see how it feels. You want that free spin. You don't want it to be too tight where it's barely, barely turning. That's too tight or it's too loose where you hear a wobble on it. So anyway, that's my uh, take on all that stuff. And uh, if you guys are struggling with that, I suggest you take it to a Harley dealer or you take it to a, a mechanic that you know, or you just keep doing it until you figure it out. Other than that, you guys have a great rest of your day. If you ride, always remember to ride safe, take care in everything you do, love on your family, and God bless. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all my existing subscribers. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. And if you're new to my channel, I uh, would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, that way you get notified anytime there's new videos. I got a bunch of stuff coming up. Um, appreciate you guys, and uh, God bless.